If you want to find out how I'm growing my natural hair long through mini braids, continue to watch this video to the end. It's been 10 weeks since I've installed these mini braids on my natural hair. Let's get into today's video. As you know, I'm using mini braids to grab my natural hair long, healthy and strong. And in this series, I'm going to take you through my 10 week update and also plans for the next two weeks as we look forward to the end of the challenge. You've all completed a lot of polls in the last few weeks on my community uh, tab. So I'll also be covering some of those polls, hoping to answer some of your Q&As and just go through that discussion for you as well. Welcome or welcome back to all my new and returning subscribers. Really appreciate each and every one of you stopping by my channel and checking out my content. So I'm showing you my hair uh, dry and then after I've given it a wash, just a sneak peek there. But this is what my hair is looking like and 10 weeks in, it's quite stringy. I would say quite dry and I think they're definitely on their way to being taken down. They've had a lot of washing, they've had a lot of care, a lot of treatment and really they're looking quite old. You can see all the new growth as well that I've received. So really exciting to finish 10 weeks so far in this challenge. Showing you a snapshot of what 10 weeks of growth looks like on my hair. Once again, I am slow grow hair, hair grower and so my hair does grow a lot slower than normal, but I am infusing my hair with virgin hair fertilizer and I do see that I've got a bit of boosted growth, but I'm just happy overall with the amount of growth that I've got and it's just time really to get my hair revived and refreshed for another week of the challenge. Do want to say thank you so so much for watching my channel if you are new hit the subscribe button i make videos on taking care of your natural hair particularly at the moment i'm doing lots of challenges in order to reach our goals for 2023 and so far i've done a mini twist challenge and now a mini braids challenge where i'm getting lots of growth and i'm showing you week by week how i'm getting on on these challenges uh, motivating you to do the same so I'll be talking you through a fairly routine wash day here in week 10, but also what you can look forward to for the next two weeks, as I really look forward to getting these braids out. So I wet my hair, normally the first stage of my wash day, and once again, apologies for my voice, it is allergy season. I normally uh, wet my hair with warm water when it looks that dry, as you saw before, just to get the water back into my hair, to get the moisture back into my hair. So that's always the first step of my wash day. To get the moisture back, I just do a warm water rinse. And then for this day, I just chose to put the shampoo on my scalp first. As you know, I don't rinse out my products in between washes. Just saves me a lot of time, really, um, and a personal preference. You can choose to wash it out if you want to. So I'm using my trusted egg uh, protein uh, shampoo from Pureline that I got in Jamaica and I normally water that down in my applicator bottle. It always amazes me just the difference that water can make to your hair. My hair already looks clean, washed, moisturized just by giving it a warm water rinse. And so if all else fails, if you learn nothing from today's video, always try to give your hair a warm water rinse at least once a week, especially if your hair is high porosity and gets dry quickly like mine. On that same note, I would love to hear from you how you're getting on 10 weeks into the challenge. I know a lot of you have started again, started brand new um, uh, sets of braids and you've commented below lots of my videos how you're getting on. I love to see those, I love to read those and they encourage me as well to know that you've joined onto these challenges. So comment below and let me know how you're getting on. Let me know if you've taken them out, if you've gone on a new set or how you're getting on. I'd be very happy to know. So my conditioner this week of choice is children's detangling um leave-in uh specific leave-in uh detangler uh, deep conditioner product once again it's i think it's by dark and lovely i have a lot of products given to me and also just getting rid of my stash um hence i don't quite sure what product um it is but uh, it's just a normal leave-in conditioner. You can use any leave-in conditioner, even the cheap ones from the supermarket. As long as you're washing your hair, you're conditioning your hair. The main thing is to get a lot of water in there at least once a week. And I'm seeing that it's making a great difference to the appearance of my hair overall. So what I do then, I work the, the conditioner on the length of my hair and I do the shampoo on my scalp. I know this is quite repetitive, but I talk a lot on my channel about being consistent and consistency means doing the same thing over and over again. Of course, I'm going to get great results 
because we're growing our natural hair and our hair is already in braids and ready protected and now we're just doing the maintenance of these braids to ensure that the hair that grows out and the hair that's already there will stay there by putting in the moisture that's needed and the using the right combination of products to make sure that this hair stays on our head it's all about um, hair length retention hair So now let's look at some of the polls that you've completed on my community tab thank you so so much for completing those once again do hit the subscribe button there's quite a lot of you that watch this channel that are not subscribed but you can subscribe so that you can participate in the community tabs and you can ask me whatever question you like i'm so happy to help out all my subscribers this particular question says have you moisturized your hair today 57 percent of you did that 26 percent didn't and 17 percent said I probably should do that. So I'm, I'm glad that this was a reminder that you should moisturize your hair. Of course, moisturizing my hair is something I struggle with. And with the summer months coming up, it's gonna be something that's very important in our regimen. Because I do weekly wash days in these braids um, and they are gonna be coming out like for the main summer part. So I'm gonna have to have a, a schedule that I stick to in terms of moisturizing my hair to make sure that my hair is getting enough water in there because then we'll incur breakage over the summer. By the time we look at our hair in autumn, it'll be too late to rescue that hair. I talk a lot about wearing sun hats and covering our hair during these warmer times of year as well. I think these braids have held up really well for 10 weeks. They look good. Once again, I am not redoing these braids uh, until 12 weeks. It's the first time I'm going to be leaving my hair alone for 12 weeks. And you can already see the growth that I'm receiving in my hair. It's a lot, a lot of growth. Remember that moisturizing your hair doesn't have to be this big expensive thing. You can use water, you can water down your conditioners and make your own um, leave-in moisturizers. Just make sure that you're getting enough water on your hair. So that wraps up week 10, just using products, simple hair products, simple hair practices, and I'm seeing great results. And I'll leave that in for another week. I will add virgin hair fertilizer to my scalp and I'll put my leave-in in and seal my hair. And that will be it until week 11. This one I asked in May, but I'll just cover it here as well. It says, uh, what hair care goals do you have for May? Um, 3% of you wanted to learn new skills such as plating, twisting, 16% wanted to learn how to make DIYs, but 81% of you wanted to learn how to stick to long-term protective style. Now, I hope that this channel or the playlist on my channel, I've got mini twist playlists. I've got a how to like grow your hair in mini braids. That's like a three-part workbook if you like. And then I've got all the mini braids challenges that I've ever done in playlists with the dates given. I hope that's given you a lot of motivation to keep your hair in long-term protective style. I've got my longest challenge where I maintain braids over a 22 week period as well. So you can welcome to check that out for long, long term ex extreme protective styling. And each week I give you inspiration. I talk you through how I'm getting along and hopefully that's providing you with some motivation. Long hair is such a subjective thing, right? And so for a while I had like shoulder length hair and thought my hair was so, so long because of course I never even had air length uh, before. And so shoulder length was really long to me and I wanted to get this question out to the community, probably going something a bit deeper later in the video. But what do you consider as long hair? And a vast majority of you said waist length. And interestingly, interestingly, mid-back length was 33%. Now, my next goal after shoulder was, of course, if I could get to mid-back length, which is where I am at the moment, or you could say waist length, um, 
then I think my hair was so long. My hair is touching my waist, I think, but I still do not feel like it's long. And so it's such a subjective thing that when my hair was shoulder length, I thought, wow, I've got long hair. And now my hair is so long, it still doesn't seem like I've got long hair. And that's something, as I said, I will try to cover when I do like blow up my hair or stretch my hair so that you can see it. And then I talk about how it looks in braids. For example, in these mini braids, I think my hair looks quite thin and stringy compared to when it's out and blow and that could be to do with my texture my individual strands and all of this um, I think long hair is healthy hair and so when my hair was healthy at shoulder length that was long for me and that's perfectly fine I would say to someone I've got long hair and so as I said it's quite a, I just wanted to get how you're feeling about it for me almost waist length or you could say waist length I still don't feel like my hair is long but when it was at shoulder length I thought it was long it's quite a strange one so the final poll that I wanted to cover in this video is um, when I put out in May that I wanted to reach 3k subscribers um, and if you thought I could do it, quite a lot of you thought that I could, like 73% which really gave me motivation to keep going making these videos and of course I know my watch time and my actual views is going up but my subscribers are not going up and I went in and checked the stats and it's because you are watching the videos but you're not subscribing now you can really really help me with this goal my aim this year is to get to 5,000 subscribers I'm working on putting out two videos a week on content that I think you enjoy based on the stats so do go ahead hit the subscribe button and help this channel to grow also suggest to me any videos that you want to see or you want to me to make on growing your hair in mini braids growing your hair overall you've seen my natural hair journey and seen where I've come from and I'm happy to help you with any questions that you have I want to say thank you so so much for watching in my next video I will be showing you how I'm doing a henna treatment in preparation for making my hair strong enough to take them out and also my final video in this series I'm hoping it is I'm hoping I don't keep them for longer will be my takedown and that is so exciting Thank you so so much for watching my channel and I will see you in my next video. Take care and God bless.